Hello everyone, welcome to part six uh, of this penny hunt. This is going to be the last hunt, that's what's left in the box, so uh, let's get on with it. I am going to finish it in this video, so I don't know how long it'll take, so let's get straight on with it. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a farthing by the look of it. There is a 1920 George V. And we've got a farthing. 1940 George VI farthing there. And that little bird on there is a wren. So we'll get that down there. I think that's the first farthing of this hunt so far. So all this lot is going to be given away. So all you have to do is comment on these videos. This is number six. We know this is going to be the last one now. So comment on all the videos, one to six. Then I'll pick a video at random. Then I'll pick a comment at random from that video. And the winner will get this lot. So all you have to do is comment on the video. And you must subscribe, please. You must be subscribed. Okay, 19 and 19. Has that got a mint mark on it? It hasn't. Uh, 1964, there's a 1949, I did get a question about 1949s, let me put it up there. David Monday was asking how many surplus 1949s and 1926s do I get? Uh, well the 1926s, 1926, that's all I've got and that's with three years searching, so I don't turn up that often. And the 1949s are the same, they're quite, quite hard to find. Uh, let's have a look at the mintage figures. There's a 1949, only 14.3 million. So when you compare it to, say, uh, 46, 66 million, 47, 52 million, and 48, 63 million there. And the 1926, under 4.5 million. And you compare that with all the other mintage figures of around that time. So that is probably why you struggle to find those two dates. They don't crop up that often. As soon as I've got the tub next to me, I'll put it in there. Right, okay, let's carry on. 1917. That's a very common one, that. 1917. Uh, 1948. Is that dirty on there? No, it's just a bit dusty. There's a 1938. 1930. George V. There's another George V. A nine. Oh. I thought it was a 1911. We're waiting for a 1911. No, 1914. 1914. We've got an 11 there. There's a Victoria. 1889. Again, do have a better one on the board already. 1889 than that. Again, that's quite common. An 1889. 1899. Not the best condition though. Uh, there's a 1961, 47, uh, there's a 1919, we're still looking for the KN mint mark of the 1919 and the 1918, 1921, 1901, two more in the first handful, there's a 1906, that's Edward VII, and what's this, 1940, and that has got the double line above the date you can see that quite clearly in this one so that's uh, the commoner of the two they're both easy to find some have got one line above the date and some two and they're both on the board already look double line at the top two lines above the date and on the bottom one it's just the one line but relatively easy to find both of those not doing quite as well on the early victorias this time at the moment anyway Okay, 1937, there's a 1919, no mint mark, everybody shouted at the same time, 1908 there, that's another Edward VII, 1964, there's a 19, I think it's a 1910, yeah, 1910, that was the last year of Edward's reign, he died in 1910. George VI, there's 1912 with the H mint mark. When decimalisation happened in 1971, a lot of these coins were melted down. Masses of them were melted down. 
But in the newspapers, it told you about the mint marks. Collect the mint marks, save the mint marks, don't let them all be minted down. So more people saved mint marks than other coins. And because of that, it's estimated that more 1912H coins exist than the standard 1912s that were minted at the Royal Mint. These were minted at the uh, Heaton Works in Birmingham, hence the H. But yeah, that's why I tend to find, I'll definitely find more 1912s with an H mint mark than I do 1912s without. So that's the reason people held on to these. 1928, oh that made sense. <laughs> There's a 1900 and that is dirty. That can go into the dirty mug. If you don't know what the dirty mug is, I put all my dirty coins in there and polished coins because I don't like those either. And when that gets to around about half full, I'll give them away. I've only recently given one away. Peter Wicks won that, well done Peter. Um, yes, I'll do that again, probably. In the next batch of coins, I'll be full up again. We're ready to give away. 1921, 1937, uh, there's a 62, there's a 1907, another Edward VII, uh, 1921, and 1945. Going back to the 1912 for a minute, you can see there were 48 million of the 1912s minted at the Royal Mint, and nearly 17 million minted at the Heaton Works. Now, because people kept them, it's estimated now that there are more H mint marks than not. Simple as that, really. Here's the full list of the mintage figures covering that George V, 1912 to 1919. Okay, 1932, George V. 45, uh, there's another 1910, Edward VII, there's a 1914, George V, and there's a Victoria, another poor condition, 1896, hmm. 1962, there's a 1935, 1900, there's 1946, we're looking for a little dash up there after the E. Uh, nothing there, not like we're looking for anyway. Ed with the seventh, there's 1902. I think you can see there, that is a common, come on focus, there we go. Common high tide, there we are. Just a common one. Is that an 11? It's an 11, 1911. Hallelujah. Not that particularly rare. What's a mintage figure of that? Let me just go and have a look. 23 million. So not that scarce. But that is a rare one I need to show you. Let me just check this. No. You're looking for what's called the hollow neck, the, or the Gobi X, discovered by Michael Gobi. The back of the king's neck has a hollow to it, where this one hasn't. Uh, this one is the hollow neck, and you can clearly see at the back of the king's neck, there's like a little hollow in there. There they are both together. Now you see the top one, you can clearly see the hollowness in the back of the king's neck, which is like concave, and the bottom one, there's no hollowness, it's sort of a convex. It is hard to see. This is the rare one again, but you can clearly see that hollow, that dip in the back of the king's neck. There also is a couple of other ways of telling the difference, where the eye of Brit lines up with one of the border teeth or it doesn't line up. Same with the eye in Imp, but I haven't got the microscope connected at the moment, so that's virtually impossible to see. But have a look at my video, Have You Got a Rare 1911 Penny, and that'll, that'll explain it all. So the link will be below in the description. I'd value this one for around about £80, because it's in quite nice condition, but a poorer condition one you could probably pick up for around £25. At least I've got a 1911 for the board. There we are. Right, a few more. 1893. No, no, we do have a better one than that. Uh, 1945. Oh, hey, another farthing there. There's an 1897. Looking for that dot between the O and the N. But there's nothing there. 
Uh, what is that farthing? That's an old one. Oh, 1918 farthing. George V. That's not bad, that. Usually very worn 1918 farthings. And we've got a 1921. Didn't put the farthing down there, did I? There we go. Some people say I should wear gloves when I'm searching these coins. I did try it once, but totally unpractical. And, and these coins have been handled hundreds of thousands, if not millions of times. So wearing gloves is just not going to make any difference. So it's not going to happen. Sorry. Right. 1966. 1965. There's an 1897. What's that? There's an 1897, but there's no dot there, and it is a low tide. There's an... Oh, look at that! Look at that! 1866. We do need an 1866. That's not bad condition either. A few scratch marks there, though. Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, mark on there as well. But I'm going to have to check my album. All the coins in these Whitman albums are the ones I've found in hunts, so that one doesn't look so good. Let me get it out. Now, what do you reckon? What I've just found is this one here on the right. It's got scratches on it, but there's a little bit more detail, definitely in the lighthouse and the ship. So we'll look at the obverse. Yeah, it's definitely more detail, even though it has got a bit of a mark on it. But I'm going to say that's an upgrade for my album. So that can go over there. But do need an 1866, so the one from my album can go there. And that one, a slight upgrade, can go there. Thank you. Well, at least we've got another one for the board. So let's carry on. 1935. 1928. George V. 1945. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, but it's not terrible, is it? There's another Vicky. A little bit of uh, corrosion on there. And it's a... Uh, it's 1894, I've got that. Yeah, and I think the one we've got on the board is better condition than that as well. Well, there's another far then. 1939 this time, so George, we've got an 18... No, sorry, a 1940 and a 1939 now. So that can go down there with the other one. And the smaller ones are down the bottom of the box, by the look of it. 1936. 1916. And that is a recessed ear. You can see the, the king's ear. It's hard to actually show you, but you can feel the recession in the coin where it sort of dips in. So that will have a broken tooth. Well, in fact, you can see it already, look, without me zooming in. There we go. Follow that colon up after the word Brit. And one of those border teeth... Is broken in half. All the recessed ear coins, 1915 and 16, will have a broken tooth to some degree or other. But we do have one down there, and I believe it is slightly better condition than that. So let me put that to one side. Right, 1916 again. Oh, and that's just, as you see straight away, that's just a standard one. Not very good condition either. 1907, I think I've got a good one down there. 1905 we could do with an upgrade. Um, 1921. Okay. 1945. 1917. There's 1918. Has it got a mint mark? No, it hasn't. 38. There's Edward. 1904, uh, 1898, Queen Victoria, 17, there's a 1936, very common 1936, 1938, 
in Victoria, but uh, nothing there. Ninety forty seven and another eighteen ninety seven. Not very nice condition. Okay, there we are, Edward the Seventh, nineteen ten. Victoria, another eighteen ninety seven, and another one without the dot between the O and the N. And I'll tide. Nineteen twenty one. 1919 No Mint Mark. Oops. Too much. There we go. There's a 1919 again. Is that No Mint Mark? No. 1916. Not a recessed ear. 1944. Uh, 1936. There's a 1918. Is that a mint mark? Oh, I was convinced that was a mint mark, man. But it's definitely not. It's not bad condition, 1918. What's someone like down there? Yeah, I remember having a few scratch marks on it. That's the one that was on the board, so I will replace it with the one I just found, which is slightly better. There we are. There's a 19... And the, hey, we got a 1919 with a mint mark. H mint mark. But we do have that one. Let's just check the... Uh, is that it? Yeah. See some nice ghosting on that one. Which is better. I'll look at the old verse. I think the one I've just found is slightly higher quality but it depends whether you want one with a nice bit of ghosting on like that oh, I'm, gonna t I'm gonna put them both down there there you go we're gonna get to one of each of those as well it's the second most common the 1919 <laughs> look at that the very next one is a is an 18h god talk about buses but that is not as good as the one down there definitely not Grab it. Let's go, look at the ghosting on these coins. No, the one down there is better, so I'll leave that one down there. Yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, shame. Well, I'll put that to one side as well. Come on, one more then. Three in a row. 1872. Is it what we need? Yes, it is. 1872. Terrible condition. Is a two, isn't it? Let me zoom in. 1872. Come on. Let's just be the best handful so far. What have we got next? Oh, looks like a 1930. Let me have a guess. 1935. Oh, 36. 1884. I do have an 1884 down there. Let's grab it. Oh, slightly better, isn't it? Slightly better. Oh yeah, definitely. Slight grade upgrade. Best handful yet, isn't it? Uh, there's 1917, 1935. Oh, dirty 64 can go in the dirty mug, and another 1964. So another handful like that one, please. Okay. 1936. There's a 1916. That's a common one. 1917. And there's a halfpenny. The Golden Hind from 1952. Can't remember the dates I've got down there now, but I'll sort them out at the end. There we go. 1944, 
think that is a tune so three I think that's 1863. I think that's a three at the end there. But it's terrible condition, isn't it? Sometimes you can find 1863s, well, say sometimes, very rarely you can find an 1863 with a die mark below the date, below the eight, between the eight and the six, but there's no way we're going to tell on that one. No, it's not the best, is it? Uh, it's going to go down there because we haven't got one. That's a terrible condition. 18, sorry, 19, 29. 19, 62. There's an 18, come on. Nope. Is that even better than the one I've just upgraded? I don't think it is mucky around there, isn't it? Though, looks like it's coming away quite easily. I'll put it in a dirty mug for someone. They can clean that off and they'll have a nice condition one. 1936. And another 1866. And look at the state of that. Oh, God. That's quite a hard date to find as well. That's the second one, and it's worse than the one in my album and the one on the board. Well, 1965, and there's another halfpenny. See that? Is that 17? 1917. So that'd be George the fifth, but it's not the best, is it? But it's going with the others. Okay. 1919. What do you reckon? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, another H. Well, KN would be better. 61. <sighs> Has that got something there? Nope. And a 1961. This could be quite a long video. I did say I was going to finish it off in this one, though. Sorry about that. More in there than I thought. Come on. Right. 65. There's 1908. Uh, 1916. Common one. 1947. 1927. There's 1905. I think that might be better. Let's grab it, 1905. Slightly more, slightly more that side. Yeah. That's a little bit better, so I'll put that down there. Little upgrade. Nineteen oh six. What's that? 1886. Oh, it's 1886. 1886. I think we do need an 1886. Again, not the best. Victoria. It's like wear around there for some reason. Ah, oh, because it's got a dent in it. That's why. Well, we do need an 1886. There we go. Not the best again. Oh, look at that. That must be a jersey. We haven't seen a jersey coin for a couple of hunts now. Nice condition as well. 1066 to 1966 to commemorate the 900th anniversary since the Battle of Hastings. That's a nice one, that. Oh, that goes down there. And part of the giveaway. I've got some Jersey ones from other hunts, so there we go. In fact, that's a, no, that's a 64 on there, 66. We'll be sorting all those out at the end of this video. There's another farthing. So, 1931. Yep, 1931. So that's another George V one to go with that one there. And what have we got here then? Uh, 65. 
1937. Uh, 1897. Uh, can't tell whether that's a there's a dot there or not. Such a bad condition. And that one is 64. George V, 1919, yeah, you're right, no remember mark, 1914, 1938, 35, and a 1961, 38 again, there's a 1906, it's not the best is it? 18 96, a bit grubby looking. 1920. 62. Uh, a 1944, and yet another halfpenny. 1945 this time. I haven't found one of those yet, but I could go with the others. Big pile of halfpennies this time. Uh, what have we got here? 1913. George V. 1946, has that got a dash up there? Certainly hasn't. I found a couple of those in the hunts. Uh, there's a 1915, can't be a recessed here one. No, sadly not. 1964, and 1920. Right, big handful this time. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to speed up, but I don't really want to do that. Much more left in there than I thought when I started this. Should have split it into two more videos. There's a 1946, but I'm looking for a dash after the E, and I can't see one. 1913. Uh, there's a 1906. 1907. Another 1907, Edward the Seventh. 1961, what's that? So I had something sitting on top of it. Not sure. Nah, it looks like it's an attempt to clean it, I think. Yeah, I think someone's attempted to clean that. I think that's all that is. Right then, 1919. And there's not a mint mark there. Another 1919 without a mint mark. 64. And another farthing. Another George the Sixth farthing. 1943 this time. Got a 40 and a 39, I think. So that's another one for George the Sixth. Five farthings down there now. There's another George the Sixth Penny, 937. 28. Oh, grabby one. Some of these are like dusty, it wipes off quite easily, but that's quite good really, because it means no one has looked at them for years. 1921. There's a halfpenny. Ah, another 31. Which is in the best condition? We'll find out later. But that can go down there with the rest of them. Okay, there's another penny, 1916. As you can see, that's a common one. 62. Uh, there's a 1913. 1912, without a mint mark. Which I do believe is harder to find now. But, uh, H mint mark, as I mentioned earlier. There's an 1896. Ah, 1896. That, actually could be better than the one in my album let me have a look all right there's the 1896 and i do believe it's a little bit better let's swap that yeah that's got it swapped it was better on the old verse as well a little bit the 1896 that i had on the board already that i put on there earlier is even better condition but i forgot to check it and i'd already put it down there so that's staying there now and there is another no mint marked 1919 and there's a shiny one shiny shiny who's saying that shiny shiny bad time how was that 
Hazy Fantasy, that was it. Must have been late 70s, early 80s. Uh, 1903, come on, be a uh, open three, but it's not, it's a closed three, look, you can see it curls around at the top and curls around at the bottom, almost closing in on itself, so that's a closed three. That looks like another jersey, one twelfth of a shilling, it certainly is, 1960, that's 1660 to 1960 to, to commemorate. 300 years since the accession of Charles II. Uh, there's a 1912, and there's no mark on that one. And 1937. I've hit the bottom of the box now. There's a farthing. I think that's been cleaned up, hasn't it? That's got a shine to it as well. Yeah, that's definitely been cleaned. Never mind. I'll put it down there with the others. Oh, what year was it? 19... 44. Right, and there's a hate me. 1913. Not the best condition. They never are the George V hate me. Where is it? Where is it? Right, 1932. There's a 1914. The damage there. And there's a 53. There is a 1953. We need that. Now, about the 1953. Some people and some reports say they were all from sets. That's why you find them in circulation. They've been taken out of sets. But I don't think that's the case. I think... 40,000 sets were made. Some were obviously taken out of those sets. And 1.3 million were put into circulation. And that mintage figure there, 1.3 million, was what was put into circulation on top of the 40,000 sets. That's what I believe. They do turn up quite regularly in these hunts. I've probably found 10, 10 or 12 altogether. Nearly always find one. I think in one hunt I did have found about four. So I don't believe they've all been taken out of sets. What do you think? Let me know on that one. Anyway, there's a 53. And another bingo line. Okay. 1963. There's a 1921. There's a 1902. And that is, as you can see there, look, a high tide. So that's the common one. Ooh, 1938, 47, 1921, and I think that looks like 1881, but that's awful, isn't it? Could be. I don't think it's a six. 1881? I think that's 1881. It is needed in 1881, but uh, we'll put it down there. It helps the date run. Helps fill the uh, circles up. 1948. There's a shiny one. And it's another 66. There's 1927, George V. Another George V. Thought that was some kind of mark there, but obviously there's going to be no mint mark on 1921. Uh, 65, uh, 1908, Edward the 7th, and what's that one? Uh, 1961. Farthing there, and I hate me. 1940, we've already got a 1940, I think. What's that hate me? That's uh, 51. I think we've got a 52, but not a 51. Let's get them both down there. Well, then. Eight. Uh, 1915. 
1905. I think the other one was better. 1899. There's a 1908. 44. What have we got here? It's a 66. There's another farthing. 1943. I've lost track now. Can't remember what dates we've got there. But I will be sorting them out at the end of this video. Best dates will be for the giveaway. 1920. Keep looking for the ultra rare one there, but I'll set them. Chance of finding that is virtually zero. There's a 1909. Check for a little dot after the N. No, I have got one, and I'll uh, put an image up there if I remember. Show you what it looks like. Just a little dot after the N. There are other things to look for on a 1909 penny, and I've done a video on that. 1905. Is that any better than another one? No, I think we upgraded the 1905. No, no, it's not better. 1896. Certainly not better. 99. Oh, that's a grubby one. That's another 1863. Oh, no, I think that other one. Let's have a look, though. That's actually that's a what am I doing? It's 63. It's 63. Oh, it's better. You can read the date clearer anyway. Yeah, I'll swap it for that. 63. That one over there. Right, was that it? That's it from that handful. If you are watching this video all the way through, again, apologise for the length of it. I had no idea I had that many left. 1896. 21. There's a Victoria. Come on. Is it going to be one we need? No. 1889. Um, the 1889 that's down there is definitely better. I'll leave that there. There's another 1911. Looking for the hollow neck. And that is definitely not a hollow neck. That's a common one. 1902, and it's a high tide. Again, the common one. There's another halfpenny. 1929 this time. I don't believe I found one of those yet. So that is yet another one. Oh, building. Oh, look at the height of that pile of halfpennies this time. Go a oh, whole hunt to that one in any sometimes. 63. We have 64. What about this one then? No, 1887. I think we have quite a good one down there. Yep. 16. Common type. 1896. I don't think that's any better than the one I found earlier. 64. Oh, 64. Ooh, ooh, farthing. Jumping. Oh, 1860. It's 1860, isn't it? 1860 farthing. That's dirt on that side or not? I think it is just a little bit of dirt there. Well, 1860, that would have been the first year of the bronze farthings. Before this, they were made of copper and a little bit bigger. But that's a nice find. Right, someone's got on 1865 then, there we go, just be tidying up a bit there, look, loads of farthings, loads of halfpennies, 19, 13, 1909, has it got a little dot there, next to the N, nope, 1917. Another 64. 1899. 1897. Let's have a look at that. Nope. 1907. And 62. 
Look at that. Is it Australian? Commonwealth of Australia, 1935. What was the other one I found? Was that a 35? Let's have a look. Oh, it's 36. See the difference in colour now. Look at that. I think this one definitely has been cleaned. Put that one back. That's not too bad for 1935. One penny. Oh, wow. Well. That one can go down there with the others then. Tidy them up. Right. Lovely find. There's a 1916, and that's a common one. 1907. 1897. No, no dots, and it's uh, a low tide. Right, 1929. 1929. Another 1897. I oh, can't even see whether there's anything there or not. Right, we've got uh, 1936. Is that dirty? That's going to go in the dirty mug. There we are. 1908. 65. 1918. There's a 1918, but we haven't got a mint mark on that one. There's a halfpenny. There's a 1942. I really can't remember the dates, but we'll go through them. There we go. Uh, 1936, 1913, another 1907, uh, 1898, Victoria, 1905, Victoria's son, Edward VII, and there's Edward VII's son, George V, 1920, not the super rare one, oh, there's another jersey, one twelfth of a shilling, that's another 1660 to 1960. See Charles II there and Elizabeth II there. So I can go down with the other jerseys, sort out the best ones. 1918, and there's no mint mark. 63. There's a, another rubbish 1896. And what's this one? 1906. Two more handfuls, I think. I'll get out of this. Right. Hopefully, this is the penultimate handful. 64. 1965. 62. And we got a 1928. 1928 is when the head got a little bit smaller. You see, let me show you an older one. Um, there you go. You see how the head from 1928 onwards was slightly smaller. See, it goes down into the letter in there, but the neck doesn't there. And that really, in the end, I think that cured the ghosting. That's why they did that. Uh, where did I get that from? Yeah. 1928 again. Uh, there's another 1949. There's 18, but it hasn't got a mint mark, has it? No. 64, dirty one. Go in there. There's another halfpenny. 58 this time. So that'll be an Elizabeth. First one of those Elizabeths, I think. Okay, we have got 65. Shiny 66. 18 and 99. There's a 1916, and that's a common one. Uh, 1936, 64. What's that? 1910, 27, 1901. Oh, something else in my hand there. Look, 64 that was, and this is a. Yeah, that's a Napoleon the Third. 1853, that predates all the pennies. Ten centimes with a D mint mark on there. A lot of these were brought into the country, probably during the war, because they were worth a lot less than a penny, and they were palmed off as a penny. 
That's slightly smaller than a penny though. Uh, easy to palm off, I suppose. We've got a couple of those down there. I don't know the dates. So I'll have a look in a minute. Put that with it. Oh, I just noticed it's a bit concave there. Perhaps you can't see that on the camera though. One more handful. Let's grab them. Right, I think that is it. We have a 1937, that's been shined up a little bit. Some people like that, I don't like it, sorry. So that's in the dirty mug. Uh, 37. 19, 17. 39. 1898. There's 1912. 1909, are we gonna finish with a little dot after the end? No, we're not. 1913, 45, 64, 27, 16, 65. Well, there's an Irish penny. Hen and Chicks, 1941. Let's see, I'll sort them out in a minute. The Irish ones. Okay, three left. 1905, 21, and the last one is 1936. And that is it. No, it's not. There's a few more. Looks like there's a father in there as well. All right, that's definitely it. So we got a 1903. Close three. A halfpenny. 1933 halfpenny. I can go down there. If it's not a penny. 1936, and the last one there is a little farthing. It's a 1907, so that's an Ed with the seventh farthing. That is definitely the very last coin. Well, not too bad, as you'd expect on this side, but you know, I was hoping for more of these earlier Victoria ones. Right, I think I'm going to add a few coins to that. I'm not going to add a 1951 or a 1950, they're too expensive. Um, I'm not going to add the 1919 KN either, and the 1871, I've only got a couple of nice ones and they are quite expensive, so I can't add that either. So let's go and get some coins, and I'll be right back. Okay, they're not in great condition, but you can read the dates and they do fill the gaps. So we've got an 1878, an 1880, and an 1888. 78, 80, and... 88. There's an 1873 and an 1876 with the H mint mark. They all had the H mint marks, the 76s. That's 73 and 76. 67, 68, and 70. The 70 is a bit warped. Sorry about that. 67, 68, 70. 1860, 61, 64, and 65. There is a 1918 with a KN mint mark. Not too bad. So I'll put that one down there. And the 1869, which is one of the rarest pennies to find, especially with a decent readable date like that. But I'm afraid this one has got a hole in it. But even so, it's a good example of an 1869. As I say, extremely hard to find. And I'll put that one down there. Well, there we are. Before we sort this lot out, what can you do for me? Well, you can subscribe. It's absolutely free. You can get all your friends and family to subscribe to. As I say, absolutely free. Really helps me out. Us uh, YouTubers love to see our subscriber count go up. It's absolutely fantastic. And click that like button. That's absolutely free and that really does help. Thank you very much. Right, let's get on to these. And you also get this 1874 10 centimes I found. Lovely condition, that one. The 10 cash from the Republic of China. Found that old George III hate me. Anyone tries to get a date off of that. 17, 17 something. I can't remember what I decided it was now, but there's that one as well. 
There's this Tenson teams from 1913. And those two Napoleon the Thirds as well. Got these Australian pennies here, 1917, not the greatest condition. 1935 and a 1936, and a halfpenny from 1934. And they did say halfpenny in Australia before decimalisation. Thanks for letting me know in the comments. Had some duplicates on the Irish ones, but these are the best: 41, 42, 46, 63, and 65. Some jersey, one twelfth of a shilling. We had some duplicates there, but these are the best ones again: 1945, 1960, 64, and 66. Uh, the halfpennies and the farthings, I'm not going to sort the dates out there. The winner can have all those. So there we are. I'll give it about two weeks, probably be just over two weeks before I do the draw. Give everybody the chance to see the videos, watch the videos and comment on them. Thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You also get this 50p with Coin Patrol on the edge. It's Peter Rabbit because I've run out of Benjamin Bunnies and it also gives me the chance to play out with this. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run.